Hi guys! So today I am pretty happy because the sun is out and it's super sunny. That's why I cannot really open my eyes, by the way. I feel really good right now. I am in a really good mood and I wanted to take you for a little vlog. So we are going to go out today, which is extraordinary for me. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out. I'm going to try and film as much as I can for you. I want to show you a little bit of Paris during spring. I know that um, we are not able to really travel and some of us are still uh, in lockdown so this is not the happiest times and I thought that maybe a little Parisian vlog would help you to travel and make you feel better. Hope you enjoyed this video, video which is by the way sponsored once again by Skillshare. So Skillshare as you probably know by now is an online learning community, online learning platform which offers a huge variety of classes and you know I really like them, I was using them before partnering with them and they're really great especially if you are someone who likes to try on different things and want to do it at your own rhythm so I highly suggest you check them out uh, if you want to try it for free you can click on the link down below and the first thousand people will click on this link will have access to a free membership trial and in case you want to continue with them or in case you do not make it to the 1000 people it is very affordable it's about ten dollars a month for an annual subscription so really what are you doing if you're not using Skillshare um, so I will go out now um, I am first of all going to drink a little bit of water this is water with um, also um, vitamin C and there's also something for my head because my head starts to hurt a little bit as always and I will take you along with me hopefully we can see beautiful things I'm sure we will and maybe at the end of this video I will also share with you excuse this I just scratched myself so that's why it's right by the way um, at the end of this video I will also try and share some of my uh, monthly favorites because I have a few things to talk about so let's go stop we're gonna make is Le Parc des Buchaumont. I've talked about it several times in my videos and it's been featured in many vlogs but it's gonna be beautiful right now because the trees are in full bloom so hopefully we can catch some beautiful um, little flowers and then after that I need to go pick up a book and there's a car passing by so yeah I will see you there guys so we are finally in the park and it's so nice as expected um, if you are ever in Paris when this whole situation is over and if you've never been here you really should it's huge it's beautiful I really love it it's probably one of my favorite places in Paris so right now we are walking down to a beautiful cherry or plum tree which is in full blossom so I really wanted to show it to you um, and uh, after that, as I told you, we're gonna head to the center of Paris, so we're gonna take the metro unfortunately, but that's fine. I need to pick up a book. Uh, hopefully I can still get it because I'm a bit late for the pickup, but it should be fine. Uh, so yeah, we are finally making it to the tree. I'm so excited for you guys. I can already see the top of it. It's so beautiful.
gonna be real quick because cars are gonna be really loud in a few minutes. I haven't been able to find any food for lunch, so that's fine. I'm gonna skip lunch. And I'm waiting for the bus to finally reach my final destination, which is the bookshop to pick up my book. Um, so I decided to take the bus because I thought it would be beautiful and that I could show you a little bit of what it's like to take the bus in the center of Paris. And cars are starting, so I'm gonna stop recording. As you can probably tell, I am feeling really good, but I'm also feeling a little bit tired. I actually did not walk that much. Let me see. Okay, I walked for about, I walked seven kilometers, but I walked for about, I don't know, maybe three hours or something with stops and uh, metro and bus rides. And it was really cold. I don't think you could really tell. I was not prepared for that cold. Anyway, I am back home now. I wanted to show you the books I got and then I'm gonna make myself a big cup of tea and I'm gonna have those delicious vegan, they're not purposefully vegan, but they happen to be vegan, which is amazing, those vegan Arabic cakes. They are really Arabic, I think. They are mostly eaten in the um, Maghreb, the north, part of Africa with Morocco, uh, Algeria and Tunisia. I love those cakes and now you can find them really easily in every supermarket because it's uh, the Ramadan. 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 You don't even have to go to um, special shops which is amazing because I love those cakes even though they're full of sugar. So quickly because I'm really tired let's go with the book. So the first book I got is this one. It is called La plume et le pinceau, l'empreinte de la peinture sur le roman au 19e siècle by Anka Mulstein. So let me translate this for you. It is called The Pen and the Brush, the Influence of Painting on the 19th Century Novel. And I am so excited for this. You have little um, paintings in there. Uh, and basically it's all about how paintings influence uh, the writing of famous novelists in 19th century and how you can link um, those novels with some um, paintings. This is beautiful. Um, this is a bit of a, I would say, literary um, theory or criticism. It, it's, it is, oh my god, one of my favorite painters of all time, Gustave Moreau, and one of his paintings, which is one of the most famous. I have a vlog, I, have, I mean, I have several vlogs, I think, where I show you the museum uh, in Paris, the Gustave Moreau Museum, which is also his house, so it's beautiful. 
Um, then I got two books that were on sale, uh, second-hand books. So this one is a little book about the history of Japanese literature. So I already have a few books about Japanese literature, but I wanted to have a smaller one that would be easier to digest, and I got this one. Then I have this book, which I'm really excited about, even though I don't really know what this is about. Okay, so... Mm, it's called Éloge de la lenteur en Corée, which would be, um, uh, oh, an hymn to slowness in Korea. And, oh my god, last but definitely not least, I got a wonderful book uh, that was a bit expensive. It was 26 euros, so that's actually expensive. But when I saw it first, I was just, wow, the cover is beautiful. And then I was like, wow, the book is a little bit expensive. And then I was, oh, this book is bilingual. So I really could not not buy it. I'm trying to unleash my hair at the same time. I'm talking to you, so, oh, okay. Oh, I feel better now. Okay, so this book, amazing. So it's plain but beautiful, I think. It is called Le Monde Sans Les Mots, which would be translated as The World Without Words by Tamura Ryuichi. Um, it is so beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the paper is a bit, like it has a very pretty and nice texture. On the back, you have a picture of the poet uh, himself. And so, you have a first part of the book, which is basically the poems translated um, and you have the title and everything. So you have the French translations and um, then the second half of the book is basically the poems in Japanese. And I love that. I absolutely adore bilingual um, poetry collections. I think it's, it's just wonderful and um, I really want to be able to look more at the Japanese text themselves so when I saw that I was like okay that's expensive but is it really expensive for what it is no it's not I'm so excited for that honestly I think it is a wonderful book it's such a beautiful and interesting book so yeah anyway now I'm gonna go get my tea get my little cakes biscuits thingies and I will Maybe see you soon, maybe see you later, maybe just to say goodbye or maybe to share some favorites of the month. Probably this, but when I'm feeling a bit more uh, rested. guys so we are the next day I was really tired yesterday and I did a live on Instagram so I could not really finish the vlog but anyway today I wanted to end this vlog hopefully you liked it um, and I wanted to share a few things with you which you could say are my monthly favorites of some sort so I just wanted to briefly tell you about two movies I saw recently uh, that were amazing so I am unfortunately only in French but hosting a Japanese spring uh, which is basically two months where we read Japanese literature, we watch Japanese movies, we listen to Japanese music, we talk about Japan and everything. So we watch two movies. The first one is by Kurosawa and it's a very famous movie, sorry, it is called Rashomon. It is a huge Japanese classic. I'm pretty sure many of you have seen it and if you haven't, I would highly, 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 highly suggest you watch it. It is based on two short stories by Akutagawa. Um, and it is a wooden it kind of movie in black and white with an amazing um personally i find an amazing um soundtrack i really adored the way it was filmed um, there are so many beautiful scenes in the movie it's just brilliant 
and so interesting if you're interested in learning more about Japanese cinema and especially the classics and more recent we watched a um, a movie by Kitano who is called which is called sorry um, the summer of Kikujiro or Kikujiro the Natsu in Japanese and it is such a beautiful movie too but in a very different way it is really uh, moving and comical at the same time with a very grotesque and absurd sense of humor it really um, is a movie that you should watch until the end to really appreciate it the first half of the movie I was not convinced at all but the second half was so moving that it made it worth watching so I would really suggest you watch these two movies and I'm also gonna link down below some Instagram accounts that I really enjoy I think I discovered maybe this month or the past two months and I really want to talk about one book um, I want to talk about Le Deuxième Sex or The Second Sex by Simone de Beauvoir it is a very famous book, it is an essay, it is a personal account of what it means and what being a woman is for Simone de Beauvoir it is also literary criticism, it is a it is many different things and it's brilliant. It is so intelligent, so enlightening, so comforting. It was amazing. We read it um, in my book club, which is also unfortunately only in French for the moment. And it was just a wonderful read. So if you've only heard about the book and if you've only read extract and you think, oh, it's okay, I know about, I know about the book, I know what it's about, you're wrong. Read the book, it is amazing and you will not regret it. It is one of the most intelligent books I've ever read. And despite being quite old, it was published in 1949, it is still very relevant to today's situation, today's women's situation. So I highly suggest it. And I have one last question for you guys before we really end this vlog. Um, how many of you are interested in my literature related content and how many of you would like for me to sometimes do English videos on my um, literary channel or is there any way you would like uh, me to talk about literature and you know if uh, if you have any suggestions let me know but uh, yeah I don't know how many of you are interested in um, hearing and talking about literature so that's why I only do it in French for the moment, also if obviously it's because it's a lot of work. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Do not forget to click on the link in the description box below. The first thousand people will click on the link, will get a free membership trial. So that's really an amazing opportunity and I will see you later.